Welcome to TPI Bracketology as I will go through the entire NCAA bracket so you will know who not to pick to win it all this year. Of course, I have won the championship three times and that's three times more than most of you. So you may want to keep that in consideration. So here we go through the tournament, and we will start in the Midwest region. Uh, so, yeah, Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. Yeah, there's uh, that's an NBA team in Kentucky. They've got, what, seven players who are going to get drafted in the summer? There's no one in this region who can beat them. And the, the rest of the picks are just for fun, really. I've got Buffalo beating West Virginia because uh, West Virginia is one of those fluky teams. I don't, I don't really trust them that much. I have Texas beating Butler just because, you know, Butler got lucky a couple times. It's not going to happen again. And... Probably the biggest upset I have is Wichita State beating Kansas and making it to the Sweet 16. And Notre Dame gets to be fodder for Kentucky in the Elite Eight. Now let's move on to the West region. Now with the West, there's a team I don't believe in here team I don't believe in is Wisconsin. Yeah, I know they won the Big Ten, but again, the Big Ten in tournament basketball, totally different. You don't win games 40 to 35 in the tournament. And Wisconsin, I mean, just look at that team. Look at those players. Just, just look at them for a second. Tell me, what do they all have in common? It, it, they all look like me, okay? So whenever I see four out of five starting lineup guys who look like me, I don't have that much trust that they're going to go far into this tournament, okay? They're white guys. No, <laughs> I have Oklahoma State for the second straight year going from the 8-9 game and <laughs> getting to the Sweet 16. Last year, I had them all the way into the Final Four from the 8-9 game. That didn't work out because they lost in the first round. Maybe they do again this year, but either way, I don't have any faith in Wisconsin. I think that the winner of the BYU-Ole Miss game will end up beating Xavier. I don't know who's going to win the BYU-Ole Miss game, but... Who cares? It seems every year we get one of those teams from the play-in game to win a game. So I'm picking them. And Arizona is my pick to run through this region and make it to the final four. Now we're on to the east region. And, you know, I don't trust the Big East, even though it's still the Big East. It's not really the Big East, but, you know, it's still got that name, Big East. So I can't trust any Big East. Still, though, uh, there's teams I trust less in this region. Virginia. Like, Virginia scores 50 points a game, it seems. And yet somehow has won all these games. They, they got beaten the ACC tournament, which was real basketball. So whenever they have to play real basketball against, say, Michigan State, they get beat. I love to pick Oklahoma because Oklahoma was one of my favorites from a long time ago. Whenever I first started picking brackets, I loved Oklahoma. And I love to pick Oklahoma to win this. But I don't have any faith in them. So Oklahoma only makes it to the Sweet 16. And Dayton plays at home in the first round. They get a home game. In the first four, the playing game, they'll win that one, 
Then the win against Providence because Providence is from the Big East and I don't trust the Big East. And then Oklahoma gets there to play Michigan State, but Michigan State goes all the way to the Elite Eight as number seven seed, which really isn't a surprise. I mean, uh, Tom Izzo always has that team going good. And Villanova ends up advancing to the Final Four from that region. Finally, there's the South region. Now, I hate Duke. I hate Duke because everyone else, all you guys, you all love Duke. And I hate Duke. Okay? And I I don't know why you guys like Duke so much. So, I hate Duke. And the number one reason I hate Duke, here it is. Because if I pick Duke to win it all, I know I have no shot of winning the bracket contest because all you guys are all going to pick Duke too. So we're going to see the list of champions. There's going to be Duke, 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 Pitt, that's Jay's, and then there's mine. And <laughs> yeah, Jay's still going to pick Pitt this year, even though they're in the NIT. So, <laughs> and remember, you can't spell NIT without Pitt. Well, you can. But who cares, you know. And, you know something? Duke, I'd love to pick them to get humiliated in the first round yet again. But I can't because this region is just too easy. It's too e I mean, there, there's no one good in this region. No one good. This region's a joke. I mean, I was going to pick Iowa State to the Final Four, and then I was like, wait a minute, was Iowa State that team that lost to Hampton in the first round about 15, 14 years ago as a two seed? Yeah, I, I am not trusting Iowa State, but who they got to play? Uh, Gonzaga? Oh, man, do I actually have to pick Gonzaga? I picked them to win it all a couple years ago. That didn't work out too good. Yeah, uh, Davidson. Is Steph Curry going <laughs> to get a little bit of eligibility back to help them out? Now, uh, Stephen F. Austin. <laughs> I played with them in my college hoops legacy where I was in charge of Stephen F. Austin. I got him to the championship game. So the NCAA championship game like the top two the final two yeah I got them that far so Stephen up Austin I would love to go far just because that is just the best name for a school I mean imagine if you know 100 years from now there's a school named Tommy A. Phillips I mean it'd be the school about how to learn how to get by by doing nothing in life and man there would be a lot of people who would love to go to that school Tommy A. Phillips headquartered right outside Los Angeles California man that is my new dream to make my own university with my own name and even get my own middle initial Tommy A. Phillips Stephen F. Austin I mean his middle initials in there it's not just Stephen Austin it's Stephen F. Austin what was I talking about? I think I got Gonzaga there. Uh, let's see. Who do I even have winning at all? I forget already. Man, this is so hard to remember here. Uh, you know, these brackets, this is the thing I, I don't have the winner on here. I forget who I picked to win at all. I can't even remember from a minute ago. Wait, I'm just going to pull something out here. And whatever it is, that's going to be my champion. Here we go. And there you have it. There is your champion right there. Yeah. 40-0, baby. Kentucky.